Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy Mother's Day out there to you. Just needed to catch up on my videos today. It's been a couple weeks since I made one, and since then I've had some interesting developments, and um, thought I would uh, cover those, and so, again, with the side effects that I'm seeing from the chemotherapy. So we're going to get started with the side effects. Uh, three biggest side effects so far that I've seen are cold sensitivity that's a little bit difficult to explain to people if you don't understand it it's uh, touching anything cold like getting things out of the freezer you get this very it's a little painful but needle like sensation climbing up my fingers into my hand if I hold on to something cold too long also, my lips and mouth right at the week after chemotherapy uh, makes it very difficult to swallow anything cold, so I've been avoiding anything cold to drink, especially after that first week. Um, the second thing is really the fatigue. I uh, can't stress enough how tiring it is. It's just, uh, you just seem to have no energy whatsoever most days. Uh, makes it really difficult to get motivated to do anything. Uh, some days aren't too bad, but I still run out of energy, you know, mid-afternoon, 2 o'clock or so. I'm just completely exhausted, and all I can think about is maybe laying down and sleeping for a while. Um, third thing, just hands and mouth, dry mouth. It never seems like I have enough saliva. So... Uh, to combat that, I've uh, been following uh, American Cancer Society recommendation of rinsing at least three or four times a day with a saltwater baking soda mix. And that seems to have helped. It's definitely helped with the uh, dry mouth and cracked lips around the corners of my mouth. Uh, but I would say those are the main three side effects that I'm seeing. Maybe a little bit of dry hands and feet that uh, easily manage with uh, a good quality uh, hand lotion. So the last, so after, I've had two chemotherapy treatments after the last video. One was delayed by a week because my white cell count was too low. But after my third chemotherapy treatment, I had a second PET scan and we had some good results feeding back there. I have uh, one large mass in my colon and that was reduced in size and I had two uh, small masses in my liver. They were both reduced in size. In fact, the smallest one that they could, that was difficult to see on the last PET scan, they were not able to see it on the PET scan. So those are good, good results and with those results the surgeons feel like they are okay to go ahead with the resection of the colon and the tumors in my liver. Now, when I spoke with the surgical PA the other day, scheduling my appointments, uh, there's still some debate between the surgeons as to whether they want to do it all at once or space it out, where we would do the resection of the colon and then later on do the uh, resection of the tumors in the liver. So, on June the 5th, I have a consult with both surgeons, so uh, hopefully we'll have a cohesive plan at that point. And then it looks like on June 21st, I will have at least uh, one major surgery that day. And uh, probably be out of commission for, you know, a month, six weeks, eight weeks, depending on uh, the recovery. So that's, that's where we're at right now. And I just wanted to thank everybody for watching the video and hope you guys have a fantastic Mother's Day. Thank you.